Hydrogen balloons. We're generating hydrogen using zinc and hydrochloric acid. Here are several views of the zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid. Almost used up all the zinc here at this point. Okay, so today we're going to do a demonstration uh, with hydrogen gas. I'm generating the hydrogen gas by dissolving zinc metal in uh, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is uh, pretty nasty stuff, so it's, you've got to be careful with it. Um, but uh, I'm a trained chemist, don't try this at home. Um, and what this uh, reaction does is it produces hydrogen gas, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, back in the early days of ballooning, when people were doing lighter than air flight, uh, they would actually truck around big pieces of metal and uh, big vats of acid. And when you put them together, you made hydrogen gas, which is lighter than air. So you could actually use that to make a balloon go up into the air. Uh, in the Civil War, it was actually used to spy on the enemy. Uh, they would go up in the air and they would look down on the enemy position. Uh, when you do this reaction, it produces a lot of bubbles, which I'm not sure you can see very well in the video. But Jesse, tell me, what's the temperature of that bottle feel like? It's warm, very warm. Yeah, it's really quite hot. It's really quite hot. It produces quite a lot of heat, so it's a good thing it's down here and doesn't melt the balloon. Um, hydrogen is actually pretty exciting, too, because uh, it has potential uh, for use as a fuel uh, in automobiles. And if we could use it as a fuel, uh, there's a lot of problems with it, because in order to generate it, you have to do a fairly expensive kind of reaction, uh, or you have to use electricity. And that usually means that you're burning fossil fuels. So right now, it's not a great option. but if we could generate it without using fossil fuels, say with wind energy or with solar energy, the wonderful thing about it is that when you burn it, according to the reaction you see up here on the board, when you burn it, in other words, combine it with oxygen, all you get is water. There's no carbon dioxide. So this is a carbon zero fuel if you can generate it with zero carbon. But that's not really why we're here today. We're here today because we like explosions. So I'm going to run uh, a little demonstration here where we explode a little hydrogen. I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to do one uh, with the lights on and one with the lights off. So I have here a candle and a balloon full of hydrogen gas. I'm going to pull the hydrogen gas a little closer here so we can see it better. I'm going to bring the two together. Oh. Cool. It's really quite exciting, isn't it? Wow. All right, if I can have some assistance in turning out the lights. <laughs> well, I didn't warn you about the loud concussion, did I? Yeah, I, I don't care. There we go. Are we ready? So much cooler. Here we go. Can we do a countdown? Three, two, one. <laughs> that time it blew out the candle. There you go.